Hey everybody, it's me, Rami, the comic book poser, and I'm here today to welcome you to Enter the Poserverse. It's my favorite time of the month. I'm getting to check out my Simpleman's Comics bounty box. So see which hot exclusives I get inside this box. Y'all have to check it out after this. got mail. Alright, so this is the bounty box, formerly known as the Bolo box. Uh, this is the box that you get if you are a patron of Simpleman's Comics. I really like uh, Brian over at Simpleman's Comics. I like the content that he puts together. I love the boxes that he puts out. Ooh. And this is our first official fancy branded box that we we stepped up from the Gemini mailer that we we are in a personalized Simpleman's Comics comic shield and I've only opened one other uh, set of books from a comic shield before and it was from the slab size box so I'm excited to, to see if this box is as yep nice and tight in there uh, and I love that Brian Paxis in a media mailer bag. Something every video I go, I need to do that. And then 95% of the time I forget. So let's see what's in the bag. Number one, DC Vampires number one. I missed this series. I've heard a lot of people say it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know who the artist is on this, and if this book that's sitting next to me is what I think it is, I might be kind of excited. So this is the Comics Elite exclusive, and it's uh, Comics Elite in 616, and the artist is Marco Torini. So I'm excited to give this one a read and see if I get some more vampires in my life. Alright, this to me looks like Basilisk. So let's see. Nope. Oh, but it's still a good-ass book. Uh, this is the 616 exclusive uh, version of Nina Ha's Nightmare blog, the what spinoff series from Philadelphia by Mr. Rodney Barnes himself. Uh, this is a Megan Hutchison Kate's cover, and it's one of 500. That's awesome, and there's a very good chance that I send that in to get it slabbed. But there you go. That's less glary. Uh, with some of my other Philadelphia books that I'm sending, because I love that series. Okay, two more. We'll do the, the bottom book, so I can flip up and go, ah, Matthew Rosenberg's Task Force Z. This was also something that I initially took a, a pass on, uh, only because I was minimizing some of the DC books that were falling to the back of my stack anyway. This is a Joel Lazar Collectibles exclusive. Uh, and it is a Lucio Prio variant. Very cool, and I like Matthew Rosenberg, so I don't know why uh, this is something that I opted to pass on from Go, uh, but I'm definitely gonna check that one out as well. And our final book in our Simpleman's Comics bounty box, three, two, one. Oh, that's sick. Uh, this is a House of Slaughter. I'm guessing that's a number one. House of Slaughter, number one. It is a Comics Kingdom of Canada exclusive. I picked a, cu a couple of their books up. And it, the our artist is Hots. Is that Kyle Hots? I don't know. Oh, but that's really, really cool. So there you go. You should definitely check out my man Brian over at Simpleman's Comics. These are all exclusives that... Uh, I'm a big fan of, at least in terms of the two indies, that these are things that I'm currently pulling and reading. In terms of these two uh, DC Vampires and Task Force Z, things that I miss but maybe have a little bit of remorse because I've heard people say that they're pretty okay books. The covers are at least stunning, so let me know what you think about this box in the comments down below. But as always, y'all, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.